So good morning, everybody. Well, it is echoing a little bit in here. So let me jump on here real quick and mute a little bit, see if this helps. So let's see if this is better. Okay, let's start back over. Good morning, everybody. Today is August the 4th, 2022. And I normally don't show myself on live, but I am a real person. And this is my office and these are my longhorns. So anyways, it is Texas, so you have to have longhorns. So welcome today to everybody to the training on some underwriting. And uh, good to see every single one of you, uh, Ligia, Terry, Terry, Darius, Maria, Paul, Gilbert. As we get into the summertime, sometimes these, at the end of summertime, sometimes these groups get a little small. And there's Hector. Uh, so I appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend your Thursday after, uh, for a couple of hours, but well, not a couple hours. I don't want to scare you for about an hour. And uh, good morning, Emmanuel. And I just want to go uh, through a, a few things today and talk about underwriting and make sure we're all clear on it. And, you know, I, I think it never, never hurts to really revisit. Uh, here's Emmanuel. Hey, Emmanuel, how are you? Uh, can you all hear me? Hope y'all can hear me okay. Let's do this. There is a chat button. And if you can hear me, type yes in the chat button or, or unmute yourself and say yes if you can hear me. Yes. All right, Manuel. Thank you. It's always good. I've done this before. And about 10 minutes in, I've been talking some real good things. And everybody's like, we didn't hear you. <laughs> you got to start over. So um, it's good to, um, to uh, have you all on here today. So. For those of y'all that don't know me, I'm sure all of you do, but uh, my name is Keelan Johnson. I'm the market manager for Final Expense here, and I've uh, been with the company since 2016 and been in the business now oh, uh, since 2000, so 22 years in the insurance business. So all the way from uh, property and casualty to investments over in life insurance and into management, recruiting, training. So... Uh, now, in final expense, um, and I've got all of the five lower states here, so I'm pretty busy, but mainly my bread and butter, as you well know, is Texas here uh, in the center of Texas, north of Austin in Georgetown, Texas. So uh, I am preparing to come out in the next month or month and a half to see everybody in the territory. So hopefully we'll get to see you in the road shows in Dallas and Houston and San Antonio in the Valley. And uh, looking forward to those. Those are always good during the, um, the COVID. We had to shut those down. I think it's always good to shake a hand and hug a neck and meet people because it, then it becomes real. So uh, today I just wanted to, you know, and I change it up every once in a while. And I just want to show you a few things so you'll know. Uh, for those of you all that don't know, uh, my, my shared screen is on, I believe. This is my training website. So if you write that down up top, the finalexpenselife.us. Uh, you'll see that I'm going to save my energy and I'm going to stop the video. I'll be back on on video in a second, but I'm going to save my airtime for, for training. So uh, we'll see you in a minute. And uh, there we go. Uh, so this is my training website and I changed it up. I changed it up this morning to, uh, to uh, show a little picture there. And that is not me, but uh, that's a guy helping another man uh, with a policy. Uh, and this is my training website. And you'll, if you haven't seen it before, you haven't been through it, I strongly suggest to jump in. There's some, a lot of good things here. And knowledge is money. Uh, so right here also underneath my weekly recordings. The website up here, by the way, is finalexpenselife.us. Finalexpenselife.us. So if you jump on that, write that down, highlight it, save it, whatever it is, because you're going to need to go here uh, for, for anything you need. And also, again, on the chat box, if you have any questions this morning, we've got a good group. Uh, I'm going to type hello in the chat box and questions. Uh, but if you have anything you want to ask, you're welcome to unmute yourself or you're welcome to text it in the box. And I can go over that or hit that. Or if you just have something specific, you say, hey, Keelan, would you like to go over this? We can do that. Within my training website, you're going to see also this find out more. I do have a YouTube channel. I've been recording videos now for about a year. So videos of all different natures, so I'll record today. But there's stuff as such as completing a paper application, an interview with some top producers, uh, presenting the product, uh, completing the application, 
all the way down to the five whys, using your peer groups. So I suggest you thumb through that a little bit. And some of them are old. I need to thumb them out and take them out. But some of them are new and relevant. How to order your supplies. And then my newest and latest and greatest invention, if you are brand new to, to final expense and brand new to us, is my new training website for brand new people. And this is for brand new agents. It can, it can be for tenured agents too. But this is more of a step-by-step -step process to get you going. For example, your steps to begin writing at final expense, navigating the agent portal, something as simple as getting into the agent portal and navigating it around. So I did a small clip, like a seven minute here. Good afternoon, this is Keelan Johnson with Security National Life. I am your territory market. So I've done a little small ones right here and like for example, how to order your supplies, help you out ordering those supplies, a little eight minute Good video. Good afternoon and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit and this training video is all about navigating your agent portal and ordering some supply. So this is also, if you write this down with a, with a pen and paper or whatever pencil, it's called finaltraining.us. So not to confuse you, I have finalexpenselife.us, more of an, an area to go find tools, answer questions. And then I have final expense training, which is gonna be, I'm gonna sharpen this website up. It's gonna help new agents and even current agents come in here and find how to get started, how to write policy, how to complete an application, either on paper or web. Uh, today, I'm gonna be recording what we have today, and this is gonna be underwriting. I'll actually probably do a separate little smaller one so I can clip it out. Um, working your referrals and branding yourself. So there's about seven or eight uh, things in here that can help you get started. And also, if you're not uh, on my Facebook or have my Facebook, there's my Facebook and my LinkedIn and also my YouTube. So join those. Uh, knowledge is money and confidence. So finaltraining.us up here and then finalexpenselife.us. So those are two, two hopefully helpful websites that you can go to either on your phone, access them anywhere or uh, on your computer and uh, answer any questions we have. Again, just to do a flyby here on for brand new people on finalexpenselife.us, uh, how to sell a policy in person, how to sell a policy over the phone, your rate calculator, your tools. And I, uh, I redid the tools today. I'm going to show you that too, to include a really neat, uh, nice height and weight chart. So we do have a new height and weight chart, which is a good applause. It is more lenient than the other one. So you're well, So now you have a, a more lenient height and weight chart to work with a little bit. So that's good in some cases where you get into a tight pinch with someone. So I'll show you that also. That's new uh, as of, uh, well, as of a couple of weeks ago, but it's new as far as this uh, chart goes as of today. So I'm super excited about that. I may have to sharpen it up as far as making it not so blurry, but I'll work on that. Um, and then state apps. I need to redo this from this section. But um, again, you have probably or need to have already maybe gone in here and ordered your supplies. Um, if you don't know which supplies to get, call me or go over here and watch ordering supplies. So you can go to your finaltraining.us. So write that down again, finaltraining.us, HTTPS forward slash colon forward forward. And if you need me, if you can't find it, you need me to send you a link, just text me or email me and I'll send that over to you. I'll probably be in once I get this last video completed and I, and I figure out if I'm going to put step eight in there, I'll be blasting this out to, to y'all so that you can use it. And uh, because I think it's important to get started off on the right steps to where, you know, here's how I do this. Here's how I do this. And here's how I do this. What are my first eight things I need to do to get started in my career? Or maybe, Hey, I haven't been around in a while. I need to go back and sharpen up. Okay. So I thought that was important to do that. Uh, and help everybody out. And then beat your lead. We're going to be talking about that more as in, in you know, coming up. Uh, we have some exciting opportunities coming down the pipeline for everybody as far as ordering leads. We've got a new vendor or two that we're going to be using. I am also really in the market. So here's the thing. If you have on the line right now, 
If you have a good Spanish uh, lead vendor that you want to recommend and you know of them, please send that over to me. I'm looking for some a highly recommended uh, Spanish lead vendor that we can use in, in every market um, and, and get an inexpensive or, or a good price lead and we can be successful selling that lead. Uh, it's hard to find those in the market these days and we're always constantly looking and trying to sharpen our skills on vendors, on lead vendors. Um, and then uh, you, as you well may all know, every policy you sell, you get lead credit. So let me show you something here. You, every policy you sell, you get lead credit. So when I go over here to, and I hope they fixed it, uh, lead credit report here. When I go right here to this one, uh, look at these available amounts. Look at these lead, these lead balances and stuff. Okay, everybody, look at those. They've got four thousand, three thousand, two thousand, one thousand. I mean, there's just a ton of lead credit in here. A lot of people have lead credit they can use. This is free money right here. This is free money for you to use. I mean, it's crazy not to use this because you've got, for example, uh, uh, Alicia Gary has three thousand dollars to use. And she can use that to go in and buy leads. And we pay for half the cost of it. So as you write policies, you earn 10% on everything you write. You earn lead credit on that, okay? So you're gathering up lead credit as you go. And then when you get ready to go buy leads, you call me or talk to me and say, hey, which one should I order? Where should I go to order these? And I'll lead you on the right direction, hopefully. But so that's a, a big part of our business. And we're always trying to sharpen that tool. So if you know of a good Spanish lead vendor or English lead vendor that you're using in your area, please relay that on to us and we will try to get them in the system. And then contacting the company here. Uh, you should have those numbers and you have my number here, okay? Just to uh, probably, y'all, cause y'all hear, y'all hear my, and I appreciate you uh, accepting my texts. So I have, sometimes I have, I know it's probably sometimes not the most opportune time, but I do believe in communication with you. Uh, I believe communication is key. So I try to do my best to let you know when things are happening because we all get busy. And if you don't want to just delete my text or whatever, but uh, I want to give you the opportunity to, to be involved. Okay. So um, again, you don't have to participate in the things, but like the webinars, but I just want to keep you informed of things. And that's my way of communication to you because I can't, emails don't get opened. Uh, you know, Facebook doesn't always get looked at. Uh, I can't call every one of you and I can't mail you. So the, my, my most opportune opportunity is to text you. And I'm sorry if you think I text you too much or everybody, but uh, I like to get information to you because I think that uh, if not, then you don't have a chance to get better. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about underwriting and I wanna go through some underwriting a little bit. Um, and some height and weight chart and prescriptions just to just to sharpen the tool a little bit. Sometimes I know we like we you know we go a month or so without writing or it's been a while or maybe you're writing with another company or something and uh, you're like gosh I you know I don't know what I don't, I, I don't know if Security National Life will take these people. Uh, I don't know if I can write this with them so I'm afraid to ask people about this because I don't know if they're going to be accepted or not. You know, we want you to have the confidence <clears throat> to be able to go out anywhere you want to and talk to everybody and go, no, we can cover you. Security National Life can cover you. No problem. We can take care of you because it's all about who can we write and who can we cover. And I want to redo this slide because I want it to be a little more professional. But, you know, we cover a lot of people um, and, uh, you know, I hope you know that. And um, we can really help a lot of your people. You know, people people think they know what, that they, if they can be covered or not. People think they're a professional themselves uh, in the market. And, um, and they will tell you, hey, y'all can't cover me or I doubt you can cover me or I've been turned down by another company or, or no, I've got diabetes. You probably can't do anything or, or I'm too big or I'm too fat or I'm too tall or I'm too blah, blah, blah. And they like to self-diagnose themselves and tell you what can be covered or not. And I want you to be able to have the ammunition to go back in and go, no, we can cover you. I've got you covered. Okay. So 
so we can cover you. And because uh, that gives you confidence. And then that starts a conversation, which starts another conversation of, hey, can you come over to the house and help us out? Or can you take care of us? So just be aware of the things that we cover and the things that we uh, will write a policy on diabetics. We'll write people that have heart problems, such as stents and bypasses, heart valve surgery, pacemaker, um, cancer free for 90 days. Cancer free for two years is preferred. We'll write someone with strokes. We'll write somebody that has heart disease, angina, heart attack, enlarged heart, chronic heart failure, circulatory. So I'm going to go through these kind of slow here because I want them to get in your brain. That way, when you hear them on the street, your immediate response can go, no, wait, I think we cover that. We cover that. No, we protect that. We can do that. Because you might be missing out on a policy if you don't know what can be covered and what, what can or cannot be covered. Um, because if, you, if you're out in the field and someone says, well, I have this, and you say, well, I don't know if we can do that, then you probably have lost their confidence and your confidence, and then you probably lost the policy. And that could be a $1,000 mistake. You know, in a policy like that, it could be a $2,000 mistake just by not knowing what is there and having that confidence factor of going, no, we can do that. I mean, a used car dealer, if they're on, on the dealership or a car dealer at all, when somebody calls up and they go, do you have a 2012, 2015, 2020, you know, whatever, F-150? And if you say right then and there, and you say, well, I don't know. Let me, let me go check on that. Let me get back with you. And you take their number down. Guess what they're doing too? They're calling other Ford dealerships right behind you. And the first person that says, I have one, that's where they're going. And that's where they're going. So I want you, because they're, they're looking for this or they're talking about it. And you have to be confident in knowing, heck yeah, get down here. We've got the perfect one for you. And we've got the perfect one, you know, in stock for you right down here. Know your inventory. I, I learned that a long time ago. I was working at a used car dealership and I was a top salesperson about the fifth month or sixth month. But he says, if you walked at inventory row every morning or every noon and every evening, whatever, you know exactly what you've got on the lot by heart, then you have about a 70% chance over everybody else. Because when you say, yes, we've got one, it's a 2019 F-150. It's got 32,000 miles. It's clean, red, you know, blah, blah, blah. Get down here and see it. Then you have that customer coming to you. Okay. So it's very important to have that confidence when you're talking to, to clients because it can mean the deal, difference in a deal and a not a deal. Uh, heart disease, again, circulatory disorder, lung diseases, emphysemas, COPD, kidney disease, liver disease, hepatitis B, neuropathy, amputation, Parkinson's, paralysis, muscular sclerosis, lupus, muscular dystrophy, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, seizures, paranoia, schizophrenia, alcohol or drug abuse, medical appliance use, wheelchair, walker, hospital bed, oxygen, and coronavirus. So these are just some of the main things. You still have some one-off areas that we, where we cover like crazy. And, and uh, that, you know, so I'm going to make another list of this uh, when I get a chance and go through and I, because I want you to be confident because that's very important. So these are things that we cover, whether they're preferred, standard or modified, we still do cover them. We still cover them and we can still protect the people. And I want you to know too, even when we talk about a modified policy, it's still a good policy. A lot of agents, you know, brand new, they're like, oh my gosh, you got to wait for two years and we got to pay for this. Well, do you know, there's only about a point one percent or 0.8 percent, 0.8 percent chance that someone's going to pass away in the first two years. That's only about one out of two or three hundred people. So, um, and so it's very low. So most, I mean, then you got the other end of 99.9 or 99.8 percent of people make it to their 25th month. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. These people are still going to have coverage on the 25th month. They're still going to be there. Okay, just more reason why to keep your policy more than two years. Okay, so just want to build that confidence. And that is right there too, in your tools for you training, in your tools for you training. 
All right, so no questions, we're good to go, keep going. So the other thing I want to point out is that in the height and weight chart before you start a policy. So just know your height and weight chart. Again, this might get a little blurry. I just did this this morning, but I wanted to at least give you an example. Uh, but the new simple security plan height and weight is a little bit more lenient than we had before. For example, if you take a, a, a person that's 5'8", uh, we can write them all the way up to 274 preferred and, and standard 274. And then we can even write them 5'8", 310 pounds on modified. Okay, 310 pounds on modified. So if you remember, the sample security plan can be written online through our e-app or our web app, um, but they need to be in this simple security plan, you know, height and weight chart. Again, I'm going to redo this and make it sharper. I just hope you can see it right now for this when I expand it. But if they're 5'10", or 5'8", I'm sorry, and go over 310, we can still write them underneath our security care plan. 5'10 goes up to 369 there. Okay, it goes up to 369. So you're jumping from a, a, a modified policy up to a security care plan. They can still get $10,000 worth of coverage. You will need to go out and uh, write this one in paper. And uh, But if they're also over that 369, you can still write a policy and you can still write it for MIB plan, okay? Still write it for MIB. So just want to uh, uh, to let you know that. So be aware of where your height and weight chart is. And this is, this is a good example of why you would need this website, Final Expense Life, on your phone. You know, you can open this up on your phone and, and save it to your home screen. And that way, anywhere you're at, no matter where in the world, you can pull that up and you've got this at your fingertips and you don't have to go over here to the rate book and try to find it out, okay? So it's very important you have that at your fingertips when you wanna use it, all right? The next thing here that's very important too that I wanna just kind of run into is the medications. Uh, if you don't have the new medication guide, this is the 2019 down here. So you can again find it on my training website. Uh, which is good. And this just goes through all the medications. This is, you don't have to remember this, uh, but you just need to know where it's at. Technology is good these days. So for example, if I've got this on my computer, you see this little button on my browser. I don't know what kind of browser you're using, but play around with yours. You can even go in here and click on this one and go. Uh, so if I'm, I've got a cholesterol medicine called atorvastatin, you just type it in. A-T-O-R, look at that, a tour, the statin, and see how it highlights it up down here? And there it is, I'll be darned. So you can, you can use technology. You can also use your iPhone uh, and pull this up and then hit that little square with an arrow at the bottom. And you can actually look up medications by doing that. So it's a very cool feature to use on looking up medicines and trying to find them. Uh, what they are, because that is the key to underwriting with us. The key to underwriting is really finding out what Mr. and Mrs. Jones have been taking, because that's what we're using, and that's what you need to use too, because that's very important. But you can type that in if you want to look at uh, your know, heart. You can type in heart. And there's a million different things that'll pull up heart failure right there. Heart failure, congestive, modified. Uh, if you want to pull up uh, maybe. Uh, Oh, uh, thyroid, T-H-Y. Hey, there's, there's Synthroid, which is a, is a thyroid medicine and it's preferred. So you can go in here and I suggest go play around because here's the thing, again, building confidence helps you when you're in the street. It helps you. And, you know, it always is hard when I see an agent that has about 10 different carriers because they think, well, I need this one for this one and this one for this one and this one for this one. And that's okay, maybe you do, but then you become the jack of all trades and the master of none. Try to become the master of one and I suggest us, but try to try to know and look through here on some things that we do take, you know, in large prostate we take, uh, diabetes of course, cancers uh, we take, uh, Parkinson's muscular sclerosis. So this is where I'm going to go back through there and pull some of these things out and uh, make a list because it's a lot of things that we can cover. Asthma, COPD, emphysema. Okay. So I want you to feel confident you at least know where 
uh, to find it. And it's right here because you've got everything you need right here. You've got your rate book, your height and weight, your medicines, all right in here. Who can we write? You've got your referral form uh, right, in, right in here. And very important to write the referral forms from there. Uh, on the medications list too, uh, be aware that at the very end, if you ever get into a situation to where you're looking at someone who has blood thinners, okay? So if you have a heart condition and a blood thinner, just look right here on the last page or call me because most of the people that have had heart conditions or heart attacks or strokes, whatever, are still on blood thinners. So the blood thinners can go a couple different ways. <clears throat> so if you read this right up here and I'll help you out. So if they've had atrial fibrillation, a stroke or stents, okay, then they're probably on some of this medicine right here. Okay, Agronox, aspirin, clopidogrel, diphratamol, effient, uh, eftipidide, persistine, plavix, persugrel, ticlid, ticlopidine, okay, which is a probably mispronounced every single one of those, <laughs> but you get the point where to find it. Now, if the qualifying event was more than two years ago with no other elements, you may qualify for our preferred rate. So if that's been longer than two years ago and there's no other issues with this person and you can go first day coverage for preferred. If the qualifying event was more than two years ago and they are on maintenance medications and or insulin, then that will be a modified. Okay, so be careful and look for insulin on there. So if they're diabetic and they're taking this, it would have to go modified. Okay, and if the qualifying event was more than two years and they're having other complications, then it will be a modified too. But the good news is, is this, is that the good news right here is we can do first day coverage if they're on this medicine right here and they have no other issues, okay? If they are now on any of these others down here, uh, then that will be a, mo a modified policy. So just be thinking about that and the optimism that if somebody says, hey, I'm on you know, medications for my heart, and I've got blood thinners and you can go, perfect. We may be able to get you some coverage. I mean, we get you coverage, but depending on what it is, we might even be able to get you first day coverage, okay? So just know where that's at on the chart. So now we've gotten through uh, the height and weight. We've got medications where to find them. Let's jump over here into a policy. And I just wanna go through here in the next 15 or 20 minutes and make sure everybody does completely understand the policy and uh, that we can we can actually go through there and understand it. So we're going to pull up a, a simple security plan application here and I'm going to expand it a little bit and we're just going to go through the underwriting because I want you to really get used to how to say this in the field, how to talk to people in the field because this is the most important part. When you get through the presentation and you're asking them questions and and uh, if you feel uncomfortable with asking them questions and knowing how to rate them, then, you know, then, then work on this a little bit, or maybe rewatch this uh, video, but I'm going to show you kind of how I do it. And that way you can maybe modify it and, and go from there. So first of all, when I talk to someone, I get through my presentation, I pull this application out and I go right here. I go right in here and I pull my, this is the first thing I do when I, get through presenting the product to the people and talking to them about the need and talking to them about the, you know, the value of having eight to 10 or $15,000. That way, when, W-H-E-N, when, when you pass away, then the family will be protected. And we wanna make sure of that. And that's what we do. We're family protectors and we protect, we protect, we protect. Okay, and that is what you are licensed for and that's your expertise. Okay, so also just know when you're out in the public and you're doing this, you already know 99.9% .9 more than anybody you're even around. So don't worry about messing up because they don't know. <laughs> they won't know you messed up, only you if, if you do. Okay, so we're just asking medical questions and I'm just saying, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, tell me what you're taking, you know, and tell me your medicines. Well, Keelan, I'm taking something for high blood pressure and uh, I'm taking amlodipine. Okay, so I'll write that down. And what this does too, if you pull out your application while you're asking this, they, it looks like you're going ahead and filling out the application 
And that way it's already done and all they got to do is sign it. And it will also make them say either they're either going to give you their medicines or they're going to go, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Let's not, I don't, you know, I don't know if we want this yet. I don't, I don't know if this is, I don't know if we want it yet. You know, so it's going to make them make that decision, which will help you either overcome an objection or keep going and uh, help write the policy. So it's going to kind of tell you yes or yes or no on this and uh, uh, going forward. So I'm low to pain. Okay. Anything else? Well, I'm on uh, cholesterol medicine, atorvastatin. Anything else? Well, I take some baby aspirin. Okay. We don't have to write down baby aspirin. No problem there. Well, I take, uh, no, let's see here. No, that's it. Oh, I take, uh, I'm diabetic, so metformin. Yeah. And then uh, nose spray. No, I'm good. Uh, something for my allergies. No, that's not prescribed. We're good. So there, look, we've got those, those three medicines there. Okay. So you told me, Mr. Jones, that your amlodipine is going to be for high blood pressure and your cholesterol is a torvastatin. Okay. And you're also there, your, um, I just misspelled it, but oh well, you got diabetes. So there we go. So diabetes. Um, so how, what is your dosage of amlodipine? And if you don't know it, I'm going to tell you a little secret. Just make it up. <laughs> so I've never had an app, you know, go through with, with you know, with misdiagnosis on dosage. So uh, 30, I mean, if they have it right there, you know, be, be correct on it. Now, here is a really a, a kind of a, a one that we need to look at. Um, and I need to also write that down for me to change that uh, is the duration. Because this really means when did you start taking it? Like, how long have you been taking it? Okay, five years. Uh, we've got five years here. And I've got what here? Not letting me. Okay. Where it is. So um, six years, and then you got seven years or whatever. Okay. Now, amlodipine is high blood pressure. That does not relate to a does not relate to a question up here. So if it does not relate to a question on high blood pressure, I'm gonna put N A. Cholesterol does not either N slash A. Diabetes relates to a question up there, but it's not insulin. So N slash A. So if I had a question though in here about uh, uh, let's just say uh, Coumadin, which is blood thinner I'm not spelling okay which is which is uh, actually this needs to go over here because this is the name of the drug okay so that's a blood thinner so that would be for my heart okay that'd be for my heart so then at that point in time I would take this heart right here and I would look at which one up here Okay, so I'm looking up here to see, did they have a stent? Did they have heart valve surgery? What did they have here? Where is it, okay? What is it that they're doing here? I'm gonna highlight this, okay? I don't know where my, where my highlighter went. There we are, baby. Let's see if it goes now, there we are. So heart or heart disease, okay? So my Coumadin, which is the heart, I'm gonna find out from then if they have congestive heart failure, if they had a bypass stent, but if they had a stent, You'd clearly just go in here and with your application and fill out question number nine. And then we would go over here. Question number nine would be a yes. And we would get a modified policy. Okay. So you kind of see how that works when we, when we ask the right questions and we go straight into it. Now, at this point in time, you've already got the client, you know, already filled out. They're already halfway through the application and you know where they fall. You know how you're going to rate them. They're going to be a modified and you've already got the application filled out and all they can do is now tell you no, okay? So always, always go right into this section and this is gonna help you segue, which means transition, which means keep going uh, into the rest of the application and you can always come back up and fill the rest of this out. But this is the most important part and we need to get this out of the way first. That way they know where they fall, you know where they fall, 
and they're already thinking about a rate where you're going to give them one and then complete the application. Because the last thing you want to do is get all the way through this application, think that they're buying from you, think you've got them going, and at the end they go, no, I never wanted this. No, this is not for me. No, I don't think so, you know. So let's make sure of that. Uh, then I just go back through here and, uh, and, and talk about, hey, I need to ask you some questions. And I don't want you to have to go through this thing step by step by did you do, do, do. You know, I want you to be able to feel comfortable knowing that you can go through this and ask the questions. But maybe I'm not saying shortcut, but summarize them up a little bit to where it helps you out with the time frame. So this section one, I'm just going to say, hey, Bill, section one here, I got a couple of questions for you just to make sure we can we push through this application. Yeah, go ahead. So in the last in the last uh, 30 days, have you been in oh, what's happening to my marker here? Let's see. I'm going to highlight, highlight, highlight. There we go. So in the last 30 days, have you been in the hospital? Yes or no? No, sir. In the last 30 days, have you had a seizure? No, sir. Do you need assistance with your daily activities of life? No, sir. Okay. Do you currently or have you had cancer internally tumors within the last 90 days? No, sir. Uh, have you ever had Alzheimer's, dementia, Lou Gehrig's, sickle cell anemia, hepatitis C, cirrhosis, cystic fibrosis, brain aneurysm, or organ? No, sir. And you're going to know this. You're, I mean, you're already going to know this by the questions. So I'm not saying shortcut it and just put no's in there. But if you know, you, you know your client, it's an aunt or an uncle or a mom or dad, whatever, you know, and you're already really familiar with the person, you know, between you and me and the fence post, you, you don't have to go. You, you can just go, hey, you've got any of these things, Alzheimer's, just shortcut it a little bit because there's nothing worse than sitting there and listening to, to a robot go, ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> so uh, are you taking dialysis? And have you ever been diagnosed with HIV? No, 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 no. Cool. We got all no's, all no's. We're good. We're in the no boxes, no boxes, no boxes, no boxes, no. Good. You'd qualify for a policy so far. Let's go to section two. I'm going to ask you this one really easily. And if you know they're already diabetic, they're already not diabetic, just bypass this one. Put no there and keep going. But if you think if they are diabetic and they said they are diabetic, uh, then you're going to ask them, hey, are you taking insulin? Yes or no? Are you taking insulin? So the only thing section two does, if you're taking less than 100 units of insulin, then this is where this is going to fall, less than 100 units, okay, in section two. So that's the only thing you need there. Section three can be a little tricky uh, just because it asks two of your questions, but it also asks two of your questions with regards to this. So ask a question within the past two years as the insured been and then prescribe medicine. So if we read it that way, what happens here is, is a lot of people read it like, oh no, they, they had heart problems five years ago, so they're good to go. But it's asking, has it been prescribed? So if remember when we talked about the blood thinners, if the person is still taking blood thinners for that condition, okay, then, then it's going to be a modified, okay, then it's gonna be a modified. So. Just know that. All right, but other than that, we've got two of your questions here. Um, and uh, again, to go through those, and then I will wrap this up and let you go a little early today. But uh, we've got your heart question here. You know, your heart is right here. We've got your, your cancer questions here, okay? We've got, and when were you cancer free? I strongly suggest, if you hadn't done this, I strongly suggest you write a policy for yourself through us, either on paper or over the web app. It's really hard to even sell with us if you don't know what you have and don't know what you're doing. And plus, you're going to get, remember, an illustration back uh, down here on an illustration of coverage. It shows you what we do uh, and how good our policies are. Remember, we have a policy for it gains cash value at four and a half percent. You can take loans on it. It's got paid up and everything else. So we have a very strong policy to support what we do, Okay, to support who we are and what we do. Right. Um, also, for those of you all that don't know, I'm sure every all of you do, though, uh, is that we do take people that have I-10 numbers only. OK, so if you have someone that doesn't have a social, has an I-10, we do take that also. And that's a big deal. Um, 
Uh, and also up here, just to throw in this as an added, up here on the billing, if you've got somebody that's got Direct Express, which is the Social Security billing, Direct Express is, we take that also, okay? Direct Express card, that's the, that's the Social Security credit card. So to keep going, and then uh, we'll wrap this down, um, on the modified section here, you know, you can, for brand new people, you can have three of these things checked yes and still get a modified plan. You can't have four, but you can still have yes. All right. Uh, lung diseases, this is your old lungs, COPDs, kidneys back here. So you can have kidney disease, you just can't be on dialysis. This is your diabetic question. And one thing to be aware of right here is neuropathy. A lot of people or 100 units uh, and then prior to age of 40. Okay, so three things here. If they're diabetic, you're gonna ask, hey, do you, you take what's called a drug called gabapentin. So when you do that, gabapentin, and that's the neuropathy drug. So you just be aware of that one and watch out for that one because that will put it in the modified. If they take more than 100 units of insulin and or um, if they were taking it prior to the age of 40, and that's where all that's gonna fall. Uh, we run across a little bit of this right in here, mental disorder diseases. If you've got, uh, you're just, you've just uh, got minor, minor depression or things, we're good to go. Minor, you know, minor disorder there. Uh, but you can, and you, you'll be able to tell by the drug list what's major and minor. Paranoia, schizophrenia, and those other things, okay? Uh, have you ever been advised to have a treatment, a test that you haven't had or surgery? And right here, have you ever been in a, a medical treatment or in a facility for drug or alcohol in the, the last, in the last two years. And again, we don't check any criminal history. We don't check criminal history, only the other stuff. Okay. So we don't do that. So, and then number 20, we are one of few companies that will actually write oxygen too. So be aware that you see a house that has oxygen signs on it. That's okay. Go on in. We write it. Okay. So, or a wheelchair ramp. Okay. Don't be afraid of those people because they need coverage too. And we can definitely cover them on that fact. And then when you're through with that, uh, you're good to go. Then you will know exactly where the person qualifies for and what they qualify for also. Okay. So underwriting, I mean, I strongly suggest number one, you start right in here, find out what they're taking. This is going to help you figure out what they've got up here a little bit more. Uh, and if they're clean, then start back up here, ask them the knockout questions, you know, the second time around, and then you go into your others, your third time around, and then your fourth thing to do is to go ahead and complete this out and then fill in the rest of the application, okay? For brand new people, I'm not going to go through the rest of the application today, but, but if you go to my handy dandy little YouTube channel, then you can look at the recordings here and go through here. And I have videos on all of that. So you can go through here, complete the paper application. Look right there. That was uh, two months ago, which it hadn't changed any yet lately. So you can go in there and watch that paper application. And, or if you're brand new, you want some one-on-one -on -one training, feel free to call me. I'll get online here on a Zoom training with you one-on-one -on -one, and we will walk through this as long as you want to. Okay, and as long as you need some help here. You're doing a paper application. If you're doing a web application, it's exactly the same on there. For example, you're gonna to go to web app and it's gonna take you through all the questions. So it will uh, do that and uh, you can rock and roll through there. Again, if you're brand new, go to this web app, fill all this out, pass this page, pass the next page. I highly recommend you write your own policy. You're gonna get full commissions on it, full commissions on it first year. And it's like a free policy. And some of you, you'll get, be making money on it. So it's like a free policy. Uh, so write it. That way you have it. That way when somebody goes, do you have one of these? You can go, yep, it's right here. Look, you can show them your illustration too. You can show them your illustration. That's again, this is my illustration right here. This is mine. So I feel strongly when I go out and I talk to people, I can hold my head up high, wear my blue and go, yes, I've got one too. Yes, I've got one too. Okay. So no matter who you write with or for, I assume or that it's us and hope it is. But, you know, be a member also. I mean, know, you, know you've know you got a policy because it's very, it's very important too, okay? 
But let me rehash real quick and give you a summary. You know, right, go to my final expense life.us, play around in here. You can't do anything, you can't break it, run some rates, look at my look at my downloads, get a little bit of taste on your tongue. And then if you're brand, brand new, start watching some of these steps here. I think they will help you and hopefully uh, they will get you started off on the right track. I'm going to fill in step six and maybe do another short version of the seven of the five and four. But these will help you out. Your business counts on you. It's your money. It's your family's money. And I want to give you the tools and uh, the resources to be successful. I want to help you out because we do protect families. And if all of us can do our job to protect a couple of two or three families you know, per month, uh, we will make a big difference in this world on writing policies and protecting people. And that's what my goal is. My goal is to help you and, and uh, whenever you need help to go be a, a family protector. And you're going to keep seeing that from me. I'm passionate about it. Uh, I care about every single one of you, Terry and Darius and Madeline, Manuel, Hector and Gilbert, Maria and Leah, you know, every one of you. So Hopefully you have a good rest of your Thursday. Hopefully you learned something today. And uh, as I always say in uh, Texas, and I'm going to uh, video myself. Adios. Well, where's my phone? Yeah. Adios. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. Adios. We'll see you all. Have a good week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You? you too. Thank you. Thank you. Peter. Absolutely. Thank you all. Appreciate it, Maria, Manuel, Magdalene. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome, sir. Have a nice day. Talk to you later. Oh, you too. Bye. Bye-bye.